Uh, my name is Brandy McDonald. I am a research associate in the Department of Medical Physics and Applied Radiation Sciences and I'm a doctoral student in the Department of Anthropology. And this project is a side project that I started um, late last year, late in 2012. And um, I've been, I started an initiative here on campus to keep bees and use bees as a site for education. I think um, one of the greatest misconceptions about honeybees is that most people think they've been stung by a honeybee, which is uh, probably not true. <laughs> when people get stung, they most often get stung by hornets and wasps. Hornets and wasps have um, straight stingers and they sting on average up to 50 times a day. Particularly in North America, there are a lot of different factors that are contributing to the declining health of honeybees and they are often regionally specific. Um, in, in Ontario, for example, we have Recently, um, we've had a couple of really rough winters and one of the most problematic things we have inside our hives are varroa mites, which is a type of mite that uh, it, it essentially weakens the, the strength of the colony. So it, if you have a colony that's not particularly strong going in over winter, they can succumb uh, from having too high levels of varroa mites within the hive. And then, of course, everybody knows that there are a lot of issues now related to different pesticides and how those are affecting honeybee populations. So the thing about working with bees is you're not really supposed to have a lot of sudden movements because that really agitates them, sets them off. So we move at what we call bee speed, which is sort of slow motion. It's, it's kind of a something zen to it, sort of a really calm practice. So what I'm pulling out here is a frame that's got, oh, there's the queen. Lucky, lucky, it's not often you see the queen on the first go. I don't know if you can see her from there. She's marked with a little white dot. Um, the different color markings indicate what year they're from. So she's a new mated queen from this year. She's more easily identifiable by that dot. Um, also. You can see her abdomen is really long compared to the, all the other workers. Her abdomen is full of all of the eggs that she's going to lay in her lifetime. The comb itself is covered up with wax. So this is during the, the later stages of honeybee development. So underneath each of those honeycomb cells is a new worker bee that's going to emerge probably within the next couple of days. We're just waiting for the foraging season to begin and we've got this new starter colony um, just sort of slowly building up health and population over the course of the year. We might get a little bit of honey off of it later this year and um, just hoping to, just working our best at keeping them healthy and, and watching them thrive in this area.